Good evening. Welcome to the program on vendor managed inventory. So this is one interview for a supply chain professional. The name itself is very attractive. Uh, there are a lot of problems in inventory management. Uh, if there is someone who is willing to take responsibility and manage uh, our inventory, why we cannot offload entire inventory management to someone? Uh, but uh, it is not so easy to get the manager, vendor to manage this uh, inventory. We have to see what is the interest of uh, vendor and uh, what is the interest of buyer in this entire uh, management. Uh, because in the, uh, in the professional way, there are a lot of confusions uh, regarding usage of this uh, term. If it is so much beneficial, maybe all the organization would have gone full, full bridged uh, to this mode of inventory management. Of course, uh, there are a lot of uh, e-commerce companies who manage their inventory in this uh, way. But there is some difference in terms of uh, some of the items uh, usage. Uh, uh, so we, here we have to see what are the benefits to the vendor, benefits to the buyer and why somebody has to do it. Should we pay money to the vendor for managing the inventory or uh, is it like some third party logistic managing our inventory? Is it only for physical logistics? Is it going to increase in inventory or decrease inventory or is it going to improve the service level or uh, other way? So we have to think on various angles before uh, going uh, in depth on this aspect. If you have uh, 50,000 SKU, will the vendor uh, can manage all the parts or should we give it to different vendors to manage it? So there are a lot of uh, practical implementation um, though this uh, step may be considered one step earlier to just in time. So if you are able to stabilize this method, then you can go for lean or just in time. So always this method is preferable, but we will see what are the advantage and disadvantage by using uh, this method. Let me share the PowerPoint presentation. Meanwhile, anyone need any type of assistance, you are welcome to type in the comments. Any doubts or clarification you can uh, type uh, in the comments because that is only the medium through which we can interact so let the screen uh, come on So here it is, uh, to start with the, my introduction, my name is uh, Pattabhi Raman. I am based in Bangalore. Uh, this is my LinkedIn profile. You are welcome to connect with me if you are not already connected or following uh, me. As far as my profile is concerned, I am an engineer with MBA and a PG diploma in data analytics. I have nearly two decades working experience in the large uh, multinational uh, organization. So I have been in uh, various subdomains of supply chain management and have a detailed uh, practical knowledge. In my last assignment, I was heading the supply chain for a European MNC. Currently, I am a CEO for the organization called Thoughtware Training Private Limited. As far as my certification is concerned, I am APEX certified, which are globally recognized. Uh, maybe if you are in the job market, this may be critical uh, for you. You need to get certified with a global certification. There is also one institute called Demand Driven Institute, uh, which provide uh, equivalent certifications. Uh, 
Uh, I am also a certified purchasing manager from Institute of Supply Management and also project management uh, professional. Coming to our organization, uh, we are four years old organization. I am heading the organization. We provide both in terms of consulting and training and supply chain and allied domains. Also an affiliate for demand driven institute in Bangalore operating under tra a trade name of expert SEM. We provide only short term executive skill development uh, program. Uh, it's uh, called the executive certificate or diploma program, mainly in supply chain and uh, allied areas. One of our popular program is supply chain analytics, where we combine domain knowledge along with the applic uh, analytics application, which is what uh, current day employees are looking for. We also provide training for uh, global level certifications, as you see in the screen. Coming to vendor managed inventory, so the name indicates that uh, something is managed by the inventory. Here we have to be clear what exactly is managing, how many inventory is managing, is these parts or the property of a vendor or the buyer. Does he guarantee, uh, give, provide guarantee or warranty? What if there is a stock out? If there is an increase, what is the responsibility? So this is what we are going to see in our program. Basically, we know that vendor organization in terms of proper uh, planning. He is supporting, he is not owning much here. But there is a slight confusion in the market. There is one more thing called consignment inventory. Is both the things are same or is it different? Can anyone type in the comment? Can you please comment both are same or different? If they are different, in what way it is different? Can anyone type in the comment? If we are clear in this aspect, then what we see further becomes much more uh, clear. Are these two are same? They are different. VMI and consignment inventory. Can you type in the comments, please? For us, that could be one of the medium for communication. Otherwise, uh, we cannot transact uh, in a live way. Can anyone type in the comments, what is the difference between VMI and uh, consignment inventory? I am waiting for your answer. Even if it is wrong, doesn't matter. We are having an open discussion so that uh, we can uh, mutually increase our uh, knowledge. You can always uh, type uh, in the comments, anyone. Who knows the difference? You are, you are requested to comment in the comments. Are they same or uh, are they different? What is the difference? So I am waiting for the answer. Let I hope uh, somebody uh, provides the comment. Let us make this as an active uh, participation. If you provide the feedback, it is always better. Do you feel both are same or is it different? Hope uh, all the participants are able to hear me and uh, able to understand what I am trying to ask and uh, present here. Is it the same or different? Oh, we have uh, nearly 19 participants, but uh, there is no reply. Can I understand uh, that you know everything and uh, you don't want a reply or uh, you want to know more? Please type the comments.
we have uh, this one problem with our supply chain professional they doesn't want to interact okay and they are happy watching a recorded uh, video so please uh, make use of a live recording where i can share my experience don't know very good at least uh, rohit singh uh, is engaging how about others you are welcome to do if you are in the supply chain profession you should know what is at least vendor management inventory at least when you are attending a interview these questions can come if you say it is advantages have you implemented such type of a project and what are the benefits anyone else is there a difference or both are same okay i am not sure others uh, are uh, watching or they are doing a time pause so i am not clear we have to see in terms of stock accountability here we are talking about inventory accountability in terms of who is going to own the inventory in vendor managed inventory is it uh, the who, uh, who is uh, the owner for the inventory can anyone type who is the owner uh, owns the inventory in case of vendor managed inventory who owns the inventory ownership of the inventory lies with the buyer or seller in uh, vmi this is what the main confusion happens uh, here in the vmi the ownership lies with the, still the buyer it is not with the seller if the ownership is with the seller then it becomes the consignment inventory okay that is the major difference between uh, the consignment and the vmi but uh, many people uh, start using interchangeably uh, that's where the uh, problem happens so let us be clear in vendor managed inventory the ownership lies with the buyer as soon as the inventory enters the buyer's organization whereas in the consignment inventory the ownership still lies with the seller even though item is in the buyer organization i hope this is uh, clear so rohit mayank is saying seller i am not sure are they talking about vmi or consignment inventory so this is the basic difference uh, and also this is the main misunderstanding with uh, many supply chain professionals so if it is seller is going to own the responsibility what are the benefits why we are not able to uh, implement either consignment or vmi my inventory there are lot of hurdles because uh, if you say somebody is going to manage your inventory in a better than what you can do then it's always better why can't we go and implement for across the organization for all the required inventory why we cannot uh, do it here you have to see the seller has to put a special effort in terms of additional time manpower and also money i have seen many times supplier deputes one full time executive to your organization taking care of stock uh, and also uh, the planning uh, for the inventory many time he also has access to your erp system when they plan it okay and uh, can we use it for all item is also one more question mark uh, here we uh, can use uh, for only a standard item not for uh, design parts so if you have 50000 sku and uh, maybe half of them are design parts then uh, you cannot use vmi or consignment to that here there is also one possibility that uh, vendor can manipulate and uh, issue more uh, inventory because inventory is the responsibility of the buyer 
and uh, there are not that all uh, um, vendors are willing to do it uh, this also requires high integrity on uh, our stock accuracy so coming to the vendor's responsibility in a vendor managed uh, inventory is maintaining the desired level of stock by proper planning maybe is also a part of uh, mrp uh, planning he has access to our own erp system so that he can uh, do the proper planning so we can call him as a co-planner for this type of uh, inventory uh, possibly the buyer organization is going to fix a minimum and maximum level and uh, it expects the seller to maintain such type of a stock and it's also called co-planning coming to the buyer organization if you see it is uh, his own uh, ownership for the inventory but still what are the benefits for him definitely since somebody else is going to do the planning he is relieved of some of the effort but still if something happens he is uh, further responsible for it okay but main thing is possibly he will get uh, assured material availability and uh, time is relieved for other uh, tasks maybe also you can transfer some of the risk to the vendor uh, the main advantage of having a VMI is uh, improving the higher uh, service level. Coming to the ben uh, benefits of seller organization, why he has to do? If uh, uh, he has to put the additional effort, manpower, money, then why he has to do? Any idea? What is the benefit for the seller organization? Can you type in the comments? We have seen here the ownership is with the buyer organization, not seller organization. But here seller is willing to put his time, manpower, effort in the joint planning of inventory. So what is the interest of seller in this process? Can you please type in the comment? Why supplier has to take this responsibility? Why did he invest his money in uh, to commit his uh, time uh, for this activity? Can anyone uh, type about the benefits which uh, seller can expect uh, in this type of process? I am hoping that somebody will answer. There are many participants. If you are in the supply chain profession, uh, you should be already knowing it. Best service brings more demand uh, possible, but uh, will it create a demand if you do best uh, service from the seller perspective? seller is supplying the components how does uh, he can influence the consumer uh, customer demand is there any way any link you can always share your comments there is nothing wrong in giving the comment what is the benefit to the seller why he has to spend time and effort Yes, please. I am waiting for the answer. Of course, it's going to improve the uh, business for uh, this particular organization because he has assigned with this responsibility of maintaining the stock. Maybe 
500 or 1000 components so definitely you can assume that there can be a continued business also better customer relationship from the vendor angle and uh, applicability once again this type of relationship is not possible for all the components especially in the organization manufacturing organization we use it for low value c class item possibly 100 or 500 or 1000 components can be managed by one vendor where you can source it from the market and mostly these are traded items small low value items in our previous organization we did mainly for c class and you cannot attempt for design parts because there there is no inventory you have to get it as per the design okay but you will see that there are a lot of e-commerce uh, companies who follow this process and maybe they also go to the extent of uh, doing in terms of uh, uh consignment inventory this is what most of the e-commerce organization does they will ask the vendor to store it in their premises but not build till there is an order okay uh, maybe in this situation it is a forced implementation of vendor managed inventory or consignment inventory I have seen large organization are able to successfully implement uh, this process also benefit from this uh, process. So it's many time a forced uh, relationship. Any questions on vendor managed inventory? Can you type your uh, questions so that I can try to answer a few? you can type your uh, questions before we conclude material availability near the uh, required location is the answer given by mayan kumar uh, that is not really a problem here more of uh, assuring uh, that there is no stock out the material can be uh, of course, uh, the uh, seller's interest is he wants to do invoice, but here uh, our uh, interest uh, from the buyer angle is there is no stock out. We set a desired level minimum and maximum and supplier has to ensure that he is maintaining that stock. Any questions? on this particular topic you can type it meanwhile we will uh, conclude we are uh, launching uh, a new program specifically for the people who are in purchasing uh, which can be also called procurement or sourcing or uh, supply management or materials management a yeah, very uh, latest program including analytics uh, the program name is called certified sourcing analyst where we have three modules uh, giving uh, fundamental and advanced uh, concepts along with uh, the analytical application where we train the candidate both on excel python as well as physical applications uh, in their area. In fact, uh, we are doing successfully on supply chain analytics. Similarly, we are taking it to the uh, uh, purchasing domain. All our program happens on weekend, live interactive program. All are done by experienced uh, domain experts. You can visit our site expertsem.net and uh, for the pressures uh, who are looking for some assistant we can also provide internship scholarship and uh, placement assistance okay of course you have to enroll for the program to avail this benefit you can also visit our site to, to see the google reviews from the participants if you have any queries, either you can type in the comments or you can always reach to our executive in this uh, WhatsApp number. 
i can wait for few more minutes if you have any queries regarding our program or if you would like to discuss any of our uh, future session any particular topic you can also type in the comments yes any queries please type in the comments inventory management is one of the difficult uh, topic so if you have a clear understanding of uh, what we are managing it becomes very uh, easy uh, this is where vendor management can also support in your effort but uh, it's not uh, they are going to take overall responsibility at least where it is possible you can uh, offload the, the responsibility So any comments, any queries, what type of uh, program or uh, live program we can have for the next session? You can always type in the comments. There are a lot of people available, but many doesn't want to communicate. Rohit, thank you for your comments. If you are uh, interested in any specific topic, you are also welcome to type in the comments so that I can plan in the coming sessions. Forecast. Yes, of course, in this half an hour period, we can do uh, introduction. In fact, we uh, conduct many program on demand forecasting uh, starting from uh, 2 hours to 6, uh, 24 hours and in fact our supply chain analytics program major focus is on forecasting where we train people on python machine learning because if your organization is uh, a, a large one and if you have product uh, high number of varieties then managing in normal excel is not possible and there you cannot use conventional method of forecasting that's where some knowledge of any uh, analytical tools like python or or may be required along with some machine learning aspects uh, then only we will be able to do in a better way Okay, if there are no questions, thanks for participating. Bye. Have a nice uh, evening.